So while the crew are doing their thing, I want to give you a look around this one. I have done a full tour of this boat in Cannes, so you may have seen it already, but for all those people who haven't, let's go and have a look, shall we? We're going to start up here on the bow. This is a really nice area. You've got sun lounging here. You've got seating around here. These are backrests that come up. And so you've got a lovely bow area, some neat detailing as well, like these stainless steel cup holders and this seat they put on here. There's also some quite practical details. So for example, if we lift this one here, that is a load of storage for fenders and ropes and all of that kind of thing. And that's the thing with Princess, they're luxury boats, but they don't forget the fact that they are in fact boats. A lot of practical detailing through these. Let's have a walk around. There's a door here, I'll show you where that comes out. That's from the galley, basically. We'll have a look at that from the other side. I like these overhangs that they put here. Does it that super yacht feel as you walk around? And the detailing, things like this princess embossed into here. Beautiful. Another thing we find down here are engine controls. They drop out of here, and the idea of these is that when you're stern to berthing, you can control the engines and the thrusters and the anchors all from here. And it means you can stand at the back and watch the boat in. Aft deck, as you can see, there's a table that folds out. So that is this one. So if you're dining, you can make that a lot bigger. Or when it's folded in, of course, you've got these cup holders and these rails like this. And then there's also out here, top loading fridge. And a bit of storage down in underneath there. Let's go and take in the interior. This is very much classic princess. It's got the dark walnut finish. It's got this beautiful seating. Really, really comfortable. Very inviting looking. A couple of other things to point out is these systems here. These are light programs. So you can change the light settings for full lighting or just some more subtle lighting and so on. This one's also got power blinds. These buttons here operate the blinds on either side and also the curtains that are up here and curtains that come across here. So they're all electrically controlled on this boat. And then also in this area, this has got the name Hi-Fi system on it. Very nice system indeed. And that's something they're putting on a lot of the princesses now as standard. And then finally, there's a 55 inch TV. If I hit that button there, you'll see that that rises out very neatly from there. And it has a surround sound system. You can see the speakers for it up in the ceiling here, here, and over here. I love this subtle lighting up around the top. It's all very nicely done. Let's move up a bit further. That's that TV coming all the way up. Dining table here. Now you can increase the size of this because you can see it's got a split in the center. That means that'll pull out wider if you want to dine more people. But also on this one, it's electrically controlled and you can power that out to the center or bring it back in. So it's fixed in terms of not being able to move around, but you can alter the position electrically. And one thing that's changed from the boat that I showed you in Cannes is this window was a drop window on the other boat. And what that meant was it had a centre bar across it. Now what they've done with this one, is just put a big one piece window in. Obviously this whole area is air conditioned anyway, but uh, that just makes a much better viewing vista out of there. And then opposite, over here, there is little cupboards for things like all the crockery and cutlery. That's all very nicely done, as you can see classic princess. How nice is that? So that's those. So what's in that end one? Oh, that's for bottles in there. These are all soft clothes as well as you can see. If we head on further forward again over on this side, this then is for your glasses in all of these like so and a wine cooler in that side now the galley is up here on the main deck that's just here and what they do with this because this is a size where you could owner operate or you could run with the crew there is a door that slides across and also this bulkhead here you can see this track around here you can power that up and if I find the light button, there we go. And the idea of that is so that you can section this area off completely if you want to, or you can leave it open plan.
very neat. Loads of storage around here. There is an ice maker in this side. Dishwasher on this one is in here. Mila, as is the cooking and the ceramic hob up on the top. There is another wine cooler over here, like so. And these are all sub-zero fridges over on this side. And as you'd expect, a really good size. And of course, these securing fellows, so when you're at sea, you can lock those off and make sure they don't slide open. Obviously in harbour, you would have those open the whole time. On this side then, just more massive storage areas. And then there's a microwave on this one up here as well. Now on this side is the door. As we walk past the outside, I pointed out there's a door to the deck. So you can come in and out of this area straight through there if you want to. Let's press on a bit further. Now if we head up this way, we will find a couple of things. We'll find the day hits. That is in here. Like so. And then finally, the bridge is up here where Ed is keeping anchor watch. Hi there, Ed. Hiya. How you doing, all right? Yeah, good, thank you. And I'll show you this just while we're here. This is the bonding system. I'll just show you this very quickly. If you hit the home button, all the systems on the boat are operated from here. So lighting, the AC power, the DC power, everything you need to get to, you can get to from there. And then you've got switch gear here for your DC systems and your AC systems, that all control from there as well. And then the instrumentation, of course, runs all the way across here. And there's another door out from this area over on that side. Let's head on back a bit further. We'll take a look at the lower deck. So we come around here. These curtains are here, as the ones I mentioned, which are powered. All of these areas have their own individual air conditioning systems. And if we come right on round, this will take us down where we were earlier. So I think we will head forward first of all. And right up here in front is the VIP cabin. It's absolutely vast. Look at the size of that. There's a little dressing area here as you come in. And then of course this is all storage up around here and some big windows as well. I always like to point out the view and it's usually a marina, but can you imagine waking up here and looking out the window and seeing that stunning absolutely stunning we've got storage up in places like this and then also down here under the bed these slide out as well all the towels are in there ready to be deployed when they're needed and then over here more storage and places like that and a big walk-in wardrobe very nice indeed and if you come around to the other side this then is the ensuite for this cabin and the shower is in behind here rainfall shower as you can see beautiful finish in here another thing actually to point out is that there is a hatch in the ceiling it's quite well concealed but you can see the little button there you can pop that there's a hatch on the outside that is a way out of this deck at the front so you've got a completely separate way out i love the way they've done the woodwork in here it's just stunning it's gone back a bit further now there are two further guest cabins this one's got a double bed in it and again you've got a little dressing table storage all the way along here that lovely wood detailing again and that's all backlit as you can probably see and again stunning view out of the boat and then over here we have big wardrobe with storage inside And then it's dotted around all over the place. Lots of little areas to put your knickknacks. And then finally in here, of course, you have the ensuite again with a very nice shower area. Now, none of these ensuites are day heads. They're all just ensuite 
to these cabins because if you remember, we saw the day head was up on the main deck. Let's head to the other side. Again, beautiful cabin. And this one actually has got a Pullman berth. So that drops down like that. If you've got kids, that just gives you a bit of extra capacity. There's obviously a mattress that goes onto there. So that is a very useful feature. And then again, wardrobe over on this side, just like the other cabin. Another excellent ensuite. One thing I didn't point out, but tucked away on the walls, they've all got AV equipment as well, so TVs and music and so forth. In fact, all the music can stream from your phone so people can actually listen to their own music on here. If we head back again, these are the steps where we came down. But if we jink around this way, we will find that is obviously extra storage underneath it more storage i believe you can put a washing machine to there as well but there are laundry facilities in the crew cabin so that's an option if people want to have it but obviously you don't necessarily need it and then this is the master cabin just palatial absolutely stunning massive tv on the wall here as well in this one all these cabins as you expect they're all air conditioned they all have program lighting so you can go for different lighting settings depending on whether you want bright lights or to dim it all down and then over on this side is dressing table like so and as we head on back this is all big wardrobes there's a safe in this one as well as you can see dotted around all over the place this one's got drawers in it as well and they right up like so beautifully done isn't it okay let's head on round again the ensuite then is over on this side. I think we saw this very briefly earlier when we were out running and I was showing you how quiet the boat was. But let's have a proper look. Twin sinks. Your shower is at this end. This is a shower with a view, isn't it? And obviously there is a blind for this, but when you're out here, you wouldn't necessarily need it. Imagine having a shower and looking at that. It's just fantastic. There's the blind up there. And then on the other side, behind here, Obviously that's frosted for privacy, you've got your bidet and your loo. Very, very nice. Okay, let's head back out of here. How amazing is that? And we'll head on round and take in the flybridge and also the engineering spaces and the crew cabin. Head on back up here. That is sensational, isn't it? Let's go right on back. I think we'll do flybridge next and then we'll come back down to the crew cabin. So, we'll head on round here. I like the way that these rails, you can see it here, and you can see it here as well. They're not circular, they're sort of oval, so they're flattened off. And that really does give it that super yacht vibe again all the way through. I like the way they brought this teak facing down across here and there's lights that way you can see them down underneath there. And if we come right on up, and then this is the flybridge. Now you can have a crane on the back of here. I think it'll lift about 550 kilos. You can get, I believe, a, a Williams 430 on the back of here, so a decent sized tender. But also, of course, it does have the high-low bathing platform. So you could use one for a tender and one for a jet ski. We could have two tenders. Or you could do what this chap's doing and not have a crane up here at all. And then, of course, you can put more sunbeds across the back here if you want to. This is the fitted sun pad. The hard top is on this one, as you can see. And then you've got 
this wet bar area catering for the flybridge. So this is it's a bin in there, storage, massive fridge, we drinks in, an ice maker, very useful. Sink is underneath that one, and underneath here is the barbecue. Love this spray painted finish on here, just looks so classy and it's matched by all of this rather than just doing white GRP. They've put this dark finish on, it looks superb. Huge seating area up here, and then if we come forward again, this is where you drive the boat from. And what's great, of course, is you've got seating for people all gather around here, it's a really social spot. Then everything is repeated up here, so your bonding system is on here, your navigation is on here camera and you can select these screens to be whatever you want of course and what also is neat is there's a button here that one this is a bit james bond when you finish with this so that you get an uninterrupted view that's amazing now another thing that the boat in can didn't have so i shall show you is this louvered hardtop so you can have it as it is at the moment or, at the touch of a button, you can swing those louvres and see them better from the side. And that's now completely closed off for total shade. Very nice, and a lot neater than the fabric sliding roof, of course. Superb. Let's go and check out the engineering areas and the crew area. So we'll come back down here. Now there is a route from the bathing platform. You can see the handle just there. That takes you down into the area we're about to go, but there's a second route which we're going to use. And that is over here. It's this door. I have just ousted everybody from here, so we've got a free run from it. This is where everybody was when we were looking around the boat. But uh, it's all ours now. So we'll head on down. And this is the crew area. It's actually pretty good. It's all air-conditioned, of course. You've got things like fridge underneath, and there is a microwave up here, so they can cater themselves in this area if they want to. 32 inch TV on this one which I think is an upgrade and it's even got the name hi-fi system for this cabin as well which is remarkable these are the steps up to that bathing platform that's what I showed you that's the other side of that door you can see it's got the silver handle on it again and then this little area down here now there are two twin cabins down here there's this one and of course place for all the kit goes in there and there's an opening window as well of course these are air conditioned so you don't necessarily need that but it's nice to have a bit of fresh air if you want it if we head on to the other side that then is the other one very similar two berths and then the uh, storage area again but they're pretty decent windows in here actually so plenty of natural light and look at that view <laughs> we don't normally get this view on a yacht tour do we what else have we got in here? The toilet, of course. So that's over here. And that has a separate shower stall, as you can see. Through over there. Superb. Okay. Let's come round here, and I will show you the engines. I'll show you in here, first of all, because that is the laundry facilities that I mentioned earlier on. So that's what you normally have, as I say, if you want to another one in the combination you can have it but not necessarily necessary and then if we head up here this takes us into the engine space we've got the generator running at the minute because the stabilizers are on but this gives you an idea this is massive in here look at the headroom i'm six foot two unbelievable these are man 1900s we did speak about the performance earlier i think but uh, you're looking at 30 knots for these engines and um, that's in quite a considerable range four to five hundred miles at high speed 1500 miles at 10 knots and that's with reserve as well Just 
just fantastic. You really can get all the way around these engines. There are twin generators. They're down over here. And we can walk right around here. That's what's running at the minute. And you can get to all the systems. There's a water maker on this one as well. These are the fans for the engine room. But very princess, beautifully lit. It's almost surgical, isn't it? Air conditioning systems over here. Anyway, I'm going to keep it fairly short on the engine room because I've been promised to drive, which I'm rather excited about. And I think the guys are finished. So we're all done here. Let's head on back up and let's go and see what this thing is like to actually take out and drive. It's going to be good. Right, that was the exciting bit. So, what does it feel like to drive an 85 foot Princess with nearly 4,000 horsepower? Well, I'll show you. We're going to nudge her into gear just by pushing the throttles forward. The first indent then is ahead on both. Now, once she's in gear, we can hit a synchro button, which is that one. And what that means is it synchronizes the engines. It means I don't have to use both throttles. It will automatically match the RPM if I just use one. So I can now use the starboard one pick up the revs a little bit. I'm just going to mosey out of here fairly gently to begin with and then we'll pick the pace up. So that's doing about a thousand rpm there now and that's giving us about nine knots. So this sort of speed is actually a very nice speed for just pottering along and this is where we get our 1500 miles of range from if we're doing this kind of thing. Yeah that's about nine and a half knots there now so that's very very comfortable. And we're just clearing the head lungs. We've got the, the sea to ourselves, basically. It's just a big blue vista. The ultimate playground. Let's go and play with the ultimate toy. Here we go. We're going to wind the revs on. That's 1500 RPM. Taking the speed up to around 13 knots. And then we'll take it up to 2,000. Got a surprising amount of punch for such a big boat. Station. And there we go, that's about 2,000 RPM. And that's about 20 knots. And that's a very comfortable cruising speed indeed. We're really covering ground now. Let's try a turn. That is surprising. It's really quick to respond to the help. And it corners pretty much level. And I guess it's down to the stabilizers. Back to cruise again, and this is what we do. Put on an autopilot, and we're back over here. And that's it. 